Shalom everyone. Wagwan. Well, this video is for the entire Jamaica, but more specifically to the politicians, to the members of parliament, senators who will be debating this abortion bill. And um, this bill is a serious bill because the day this abortion bill is passed is the day that destruction is decreed for Jamaica. Let me say it again. The day this abortion bill is passed is the day destruction is decreed for Jamaica. And why do I say that? Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9 The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. This abortion bill is no new thing. The thing that hath been, which was, it shall be again. So what happened before shall happen again. And let us see what happened before. And it, this time is very indicative. I, I ask you to share this video with all these ministers, all those people who will be um, looking to pass this bill. In Exodus 1 verse 8 it says, Now there arose a king over Egypt who did not know Yosef or Joseph. And he said to his people, Behold, the people of Israel are too many and too mighty for us. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them, lest they multiply. And if war breaks out, they join our enemies and fight against us and escape from the land. So this was decreed before and what did they decree? They said to the midwives, When you serve as midwife to the Hebrew women and see them on the birth stool, if it is a son, you shall kill him. But if it is a daughter, she shall live. So it was already decreed, kill the babies. Okay? From in the time of Egypt. I will soon see that we are now in Egypt, spiritual Egypt. And... Um, the midwives didn't obey Pharaoh. And in verse 20 it says, So Elohim, or God as most call it, So Elohim dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and grew very strong. And because the midwives feared Elohim, he gave them families. Okay? So this is very important. When the instruction comes to kill Israel, the midwives disobeyed. And because they disobeyed, they were rewarded by the Most High. Okay? And why is this um, thing about Egypt? How is this relevant to us here in Jamaica? Well, the relevance is that Jamaica is a country of Israelites. That abortion bill that you are passing is a bill to kill off the seed of Jacob that is in Jamaica. Israelites are our people. We are the descendants of the children of Israel. And how did we become, how did we come to be the descendants of the children of Israel? Because it's a bold claim that we are the people of the Bible. It goes back to 70 AD when the Romans pillaged um, Jerusalem or Jerusalem and our people flee into Africa, east South, Central, North Africa, and West Africa. In West Africa, our people set up what was called Negroland, or the Kingdom of Yahuda, or Judah, or Ouida. Okay? There's a 1747 map on my website that you can see. Clearly, it is the Kingdom of Judah was set up there. And that place where it was set up in West Africa came to be known as the Slave Coast. When slavery began... That is where they took most of the slaves from, right from the slave coast. And they took those from the kingdom of Yahuda, the kingdom of Judah, and brought them to the new world. So now that we have looked at um, a little history, let's match up history with the Bible because we can't have either alone. We can't have history alone, we can't have the Bible alone. We don't both have to have confirmation but from both. And for that, we go to Genesis 15, verse 13. 
Then Yahuwah said to Abraham, Yahuwah, the name of the father, Then Yahuwah said to Abraham, Know for certain that your offspring will be sojourners in a land that is not theirs, and will be servants there, and they will be afflicted for 400 years. This 400 years prophecy has never been fulfilled in the Bible. And like many, I thought this was fulfilled with the sojourning of the children of Israel in Egypt. But this was not it. They were not in there for that long. And so, and so, this 400 years began in 1619 in the United States. Our brethren in the United States are used as the flagship for the timeline of the 400 years. And how do we know that? Well, when our people landed in 1619, the first place they landed in the United States was a place called Jamestown in Virginia. Now, what is the significance of that? How does that match up to the 400 years? Well, if you know a little Hebrew, you'll know that James is the English equivalent to the Hebrew Jacob or Jacob, which is, of course, Israel. So by letting our people land in Jamestown in 1619, the father was telling us that that was where the clock started for the 400 years um, promise made to Abraham. And why was this promise important in verse 14 of Genesis 15 it says but I will bring judgment on the nation that they serve and afterward they shall come out with great possession that is telling us of another Egypt another Egypt another judgment again after the 400 years and of course 400 years from 1619 is 2019 okay and it is no coincidence that we are being presented at this time with not only abortion bill, we are also being presented with the mark of the beast. We are also being presented with, um, what, what is that, um, vaccination to the young ladies for some disease. It's no coincidence. And I'll tell you why there is no coincidence. You can go to... Ecclesiastic 1 verse 9, the thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Nothing new. What we are getting here is, in, is biblical, and it has happened before, and it will happen again in this end time. Now the problem with all of this is that we do not know who we are. The descendants of Israel, the children of Israel, do not know who they are in this time. And it was prophesied from by Yeshayahu or Isaiah in Isaiah 1 verse 2. It says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for Yahuwah has spoken. Children have I reared up, reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner. And the donkey its master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Okay? So he's saying because he reared up Israel. But because they rebelled against him. These dumb animals. The ox and the donkey will know who their people are. Who their parents are. Who, 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 who they belong to. But Israel itself will not know. Because of that rebellion. And that rebellion is going after other mighty ones, other gods, and profaning his Sabbath. Sabbaths. Okay? This is one for you Christians who say Sabbath is done away with and his feasts are done away with. This is one of the reasons why we are here today, why our fair for parents were in bondage. Because profaned his Sabbaths and we our hearts went after idols. So we don't know who we are, but guess what? They, the oppressors, know who we are. Okay? Because in the Bible, there is a confederacy of nations that keep trying to destroy the seed of Israel, trying to get rid of the seed of Jacob. 
Psalm 83 verse 2, For behold, or your enemies make an uproar. They are the enemy of the Father. Your enemies make an uproar. Those who hate you have raised their heads. They lay crafty plans against your people. They consult together against your treasured ones. They say, come, let us wipe, out, wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. No coincidence that all this has happened. For they conspire with one accord against you. They make a covenant. And it tells you who these people are. And these people are different nations today. Verse 6 says, The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, the Moab and, Moab and the Hagrites, Gebal and Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur, all uh, the Assyrians also has joined them. They are the strong arm of the children of Lot. All these nations make a confederacy, and that confederacy today is in an organization and they take they conspire against the children of Israel and so there's no coincidence while having this abortion bill in this time in order to wipe out the seed of Israel off the map because Israel has been promised at this time that they shall come out with great possession and that those who punish them will be punished okay so a second exodus is promised to us according to scripture and so you ministers who are passing this bill you might look at this and laugh and everything and I, i'm a crazy man i am this this is scriptural this is prophesied to happen egypt one more time okay Egypt is going to be repeated. So when you decree this abortion bill, the father says that he will repay. The plagues are coming. Those who afflict his people will be punished because we are a peculiar people to him. We are his treasure. We are nothing in the eyes of the world, nothing in the eyes of most people. We are nobodies. Last shall be first, and the first shall be last. As he says in Micah 4, 11 to 12, it says, Now many nations are assembled against you, saying, Let her be defiled, and let your eyes gaze upon Zion. But they do not know the thoughts of Yahuwah. They do not understand his plan, that he has gathered them as sheaves to the threshing floor. They will be punished for afflicting his people. So, ministers, politicians, I appeal to you, leave this thing alone. This abortion bill, leave it alone. You are only decreeing destruction on the country if you pass this bill you are only decreeing the plagues of Mitzrayim or Egypt on your country okay please share that with these lawmakers give them a chance for a change of heart if they so do and if they are determined well they will just have to face the consequences of the wrath of Yahuwah Sabaoth, the great Elohim of Israel. Okay? Shalom.